Hey guys, this is Auspicious Aussie and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 13 Shulker series. In the previous episode, I was telling you guys about how close I was to getting fired and what do you know guys, a big surprise, I do still have a job with Shulker. Um, I've had pretty decent results um, since the last um, episode, but as you can see we're still looming around um, very insecure which all oh, actually we're just insecure now. So I think I might be able to lose one time. Or oh, in the league that is. Um but let's get into the most recent fixtures now guys. Of course the last live com you guys did see was the German Cup quarter final against Ingolstadt, um, who are in the second division. But we backed that uh three 0 win up with a three two pretty exciting win over Mainz. As you can see uh, for Mainz, Adam Slezai uh, managed to get a brace. Uh, Marin, Hoga, and Adam Nielsen on the score sheet for us, all scoring our goals in the first half. And um, it was a pretty pretty solid win, to be fair. The next game was against Dynamo Kiev, and it was a 2 all draw at our home ground, but we were lucky to pick up the draw. They should have, well... Actually, they shouldn't have. I think that was in the first minute of the game. Yeah, they got a penalty. I think it was, um, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, Crenshaw, former Tottenham player, scored for them, as well as uh, Ade, Anan, and Adam Milson on the score sheet for us, with Marin getting a man-of-the-match performance in that one. Next, we returned home to St. Pauli in the league. And as you can see, we comfortably beat them 2-0. Um, St. Pauli are the whipping boys of the Bundesliga at the moment. Um, they have only gotten seven points, and as you can see, we are in April, so that is pretty shocking. They're already relegated, and I think there's still like eight games to go or something like that. Um, as you can see, Adam Nielsen and Marco Marin on the score sheet for us, and their centre-back got man of the match um, because he did shut down more of my players, and stop the scoreline from being maybe 4 or 5 nil. Then came the uh, the away leg of the Europa League against Dynamo Kiev, and we managed to scrape through a 2-1 victory, as you can see. Started off with an own goal. Um, they then uh, replied, and at that point we were going out of the competition on away goals until Chinito Abasi in the 85th minute oh, came uh, came good for us, and as you can see, he was extremely tired. Gave his all in that game, got the highest, well, second highest rating um, on our team, and sent us through to the next round, where we faced Fenerbahce, of course. The next game was the Gemma Cup semi-final away from home to Frankfurt, and as you can see, we did win 3-2, and again, in a very exciting game. Um, I gave up, actually, when they did score their second goal, and it was 2 all. Um, I thought we were going to go out, but as you can see, we did get a penalty in the first couple of minutes of the game. Hoga dispatched that, and um, then we got another own goal, uh, becoming a bit of a trend in the 14th minute, only for Frankfurt to then reply back with a consolation in the first half. And then deep, deep into the game, um, Nordstarter gets sent off for his second yellow, and then Steph Nyland who is in the A-League at the moment with Brisbane Raw, scores in the 89th minute. I'm right there, I'm thinking, we're going extra time, and I'm definitely going to lose either by goal or on penalties, only for another own goal to come in in the 93rd minute. Three minutes into stoppage time. Couldn't believe my luck. I mean, we're a player down for that to happen. It's pretty... Pretty, um... Well, let's just say it doesn't happen very often, especially for me, I'm a football manager. Of course, final game of the month of March was against our main rivals, Borussia Dortmund, in the Rivia Derby. It was at our home ground, and it finished one all. Pretty boring game, to be honest. As you can see, both goals coming in the first 11 minutes of the game, and um, the rest of the game was pretty boring, to be honest. Draxler getting our goal, and Sven Bender getting Dortmund's goal. 
And of course, that does leave us with the Europa League quarterfinal. We are versing Fenerbahce, like I said. And instead of the live con being Nuremberg, it will of course be Fenerbahce um, because it is the first game of the month. It's going to be tough, of course. Uh, we did sell Christian Fuchs to Fenerbahce, so he will be versing us today. And hopefully, um, he doesn't want revenge on me, to be honest, because I did sell him. Um, and of course, our left back, uh, Escudero, is out with an injury for the rest of the season, maybe? Ooh. He might be back around here, I think. Yeah. Who knows? Alright, well, let's get to today's Europa League quarterfinal. First leg against Fenerbahce. And let's do this. Um, in the next round, I think we could either get... I think it was either Nuremberg or Lazio in the semis, if we progress. Um, so... Pretty decent run, I mean, if we get through, we have a pretty easy semi-final. Don't really get any of the big, bigger teams that are in the, t in the competition. Um, hopefully we get an away goal or two and um, put some pressure on Fenerbahce. It's a nice uh, pink jersey we've got today. Pink, purple, whatever you want to call it. Purple, probably. Um, purple and blue shorts, nice. Oh, Dirk Cout. Oh, they have a pretty decent team. Bresson, Morellas, Fuchs, uh, Sal, Dirk Cout pretty decent team, I have to say. I kind of um, underestimated, uh, underestimated them a bit. But like I said, when a one-all draw, I'll take... Oh, no fucking way. Christian Fuchs scores a goal against his former club, and um, I think we're out of the quarterfinals. Oh my god, we haven't had a highlight yet. They even have, they have Krasic as well. Oh my god! What is going on? 3-0 after 30 minutes. The hell is going on? And we still haven't even had the fucking ball yet. Oh, do we have possession? No, we don't even have it yet. My god. I don't understand how we're getting, we're getting pumped. We're getting pumped by Fenerbahce. Oh, we have the ball. My God. We'll probably score a goal straight away. I wouldn't be surprised. We probably won't because my team's playing like shit. Traxler. Oh, that'd be bloody right, wouldn't it? One on one with the keeper, and he fucks it up. Typical Draxler right there. He's been pretty horrible this season compared to his first season. Oh, I'm going to go aggressive with him. I'm just going to be aggressive as, as F. I think I'm going to have to rate this episode as... Uh, Mature audiences. Come on! Wow. I know it's a pointless highlight, but still. Here we go. Goal number four. Told you. How did I know? How did I know? Oh, wait. Because my team's shit. That's why. Bloody Krasic this time. I'm going to hold a team meeting and absolutely tear... My whole team and you asshole. I'm not even kidding. What the? What are you doing? Oh my god! Rage moments right now. 
Hold, oh my, hold, hold the ball! Spastics. Goal number five, there we go, nice. Oh, Hildebrand, you saved the goal. Uh, that's a bit of a surprise. Got some nice five match ratings down there. Are we even going to get an away goal? Oh, this is goal number five. Goal number five written all over it. Surprised uh, Fuchs isn't on a hat-trick yet. This is ridiculous. What are you doing? Oh my god, that was so lucky. Draxler, no, goalkeepers. Oh, wow. <laughs> How did the goalkeeper not get that? Puts him to shame. Um, I don't really feel like making any subs, to be honest. I think this shit team deserves to lose. I'll um, bring Bedelge on. I kind of want to bring on someone else. Wow! Wow! That was from back there. Is that their center defender? Is that their center defender? I'm having a look. Mehmet someone someone. It's a midfielder. Let's have a look at his long shots. Oh, 11. 11 long shots and he can score from, from pretty much the halfway line. Yeah, this game's pretty, pretty believable, isn't it? Uh. Oh, we're definitely going to win the... Uh, oh, my God! Oh, my God. We're going to win 6-5. Come on. At least get one more away goal. Nice ball, mate. Nice ball. Oh, dirt count. And Hildebrand runs out like every time. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Six fucking one. Are you serious? Fucking Hildebrand. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry for swearing. But I can't believe what is happening right now. Six. Go I'm, I'm fired. I've lost my job right now. Oh, this is going to be interesting. If they, if they score again, I'm going to sack someone. If they score again, I'm going to sack someone on this live com. I'm raging. I'm mad, bro. I am so mad. Oh my god! He just ran into his own player's foot with the ball. Can't even get a goal. My god. Oh, good work, Nerd Starter. Yeah, you can kick the ball into your opponent. Your heap's good. Oh my god, look at these ratings. 5.10, 4 5.8, 5.5, 4.5, 5.8, 5.9, 5.2 fucking two for my striker. I'm actually crying a bit, guys. I'm just got a couple of tears in my eye. Oh, here we go. Goal seven. Off the crossbar. I don't think I've ever seen a free kick actually go in. I'm pretty sure every single free kick hits a crossbar on this game. I, I don't know why. It just hits a crossbar. And this live com has gone for a very, very long time. I mean, I suppose it would when you concede six freaking goals. Can we get another one back? No, we can't. Can't even clear the fucking...
fucking first person. What do you guys reckon? Will I be sacked? This should be like a, a extremely aggressive thing to do. Am I sacked? Am I sacked, guys? I am... Wait. I am sacked! Yay! 6-1, guys! Well, I don't know where this series is going to go now, but... Like the video, guys, and of course, subscribe. I don't know why you would. Bye, guys.